Hey everyone, my name's Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I've bought recently from Target, Evangeline's, and something from Michael's. So I'm really excited to show you guys those things. But first, I just wanted to apologize for only having one video go up on my channel last week. Life has been a little hectic lately, so I haven't really had the time to film. So I definitely apologize for that. I do try to do two to three videos a week. So um, the next couple weeks are honestly going to be a little challenging as well because I do have some family coming into town. But um, I'm going to try to um, have a few videos out for you guys within the next few weeks. So other than that, in, <laughs> in other news, I would like to say a huge welcome to the new subscribers that I have. I've gotten quite a few of you lately and I just, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by and um, joining our magical family. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. I have a bag of goodies and I'm going to start with the item that I got from Michael. They had, oh. so they had an amazing um, Halloween section and I love Halloween. Um, I especially love Hocus Pocus, huge Hocus Pocus fan. Um, and they had like three aisles of a bunch of really awesome stuff and I definitely had to control myself because they did have quite a bit of Hocus Pocus stuff that I wanted but it's not quite time for me to start buying Halloween stuff yet, so I did control myself. However, I saw this, and it is a heart-shaped love potion bottle. It says love potion right there. It says um, instantaneous cures for all afflictions. And then it has this cute little key hanging off the top, and there's nothing in it, but it reminded me of Amortentia the love potion in Harry Potter. So I thought this would be really cute to add to my little Harry Potter section over here. And I can also use it as a Halloween decoration if I want, but honestly, it'll probably just live on my shelves. Um, so yeah, I thought this was really cute and I got it for $3 with a coupon, so kind of a steal. Really love that. Then I went to Evangeline's which is, hold on, I'm looking for one more thing. I can't find it. Okay, it's probably in another bag, that's fine. Um, so I went to Evangeline's, which is in Old Town, Sacramento. It's this like costume mansion novelty shop. Like it's like three or four stories, super cool. Literally every costume you can think of is there year round. It's a great place to um, go look and shop. And in the bottom is like a novelty area where they have literally everything, like just so much cool stuff. And I was actually shopping for a friend of mine. We're gonna be doing a box swap, more on that later. But um, I saw this and treated myself a little bit. I wasn't there to shop for myself, but I love the villains. So I saw this shot glass set of like the kind of four main villainesses. And um, so we have Ursula, if you can see her, we have Maleficent and she has Diablo up there too. We have the evil queen and then Cruella. And these were $8.99, which is a pretty good price for four shot glasses, as Disney would call them toothpick holders. So yeah, um, these are going to hold a lot of toothpicks. Hint, hint, wink, wink. No, they're going to hold whiskey. Um, if I use them for drinking, um, I don't know if I want to display them somewhere. Like, I don't know. I feel like shot glasses are kind of a weird thing to display if you have a lot of them because I don't know. I used to do that, but let me just quickly take these out and show you. So there is the Cruella and then Evil Queen, which of course is my favorite. Then Maleficent and 
Ursula. So not quite sure if I'm gonna put these in our kitchen so that they can actually be used or if I'm going to display them. Um, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, so the other thing I bought I think is in the bag with the things that I bought for my friend. So we're not gonna worry about that. It's not Disney related in any way. It's a unicorn keychain basically. There you go. Um, the rest of the stuff I bought is from Target and we are gonna start with this shirt that I'm wearing because this is one of the things that I bought. So it's this really cute, like loose fitting gray shirt says Hakuna Matata. It's a little wrinkly. I apologize. I did not wash it before I put it on. Um, and then it has Pumbaa, Simba, and Timon. And I love like the neon colors. It's not something you would really associate with the Lion King, but I think it works, especially on this gray shirt. It kind of pops out the color. I got it in a medium because it's 100% cotton, so I feel like it will shrink, and I don't really like tight shirts too much. I'm all about comfort. So um, this was $14.99. I just, I really love Target clothes. Probably like 90, 95% of my wardrobe is from Target. Um, yeah, because I'm all about comfort and cute, and so it works. So that was one of the shirts that I got. Then I saw this and it made me so, so happy. Okay, so it is just kind of a, um, almost like a crop top long sleeve sweater shirt in like this like grayish um, navy blue color. Like it's navy blue, but it has some hints of gray in it for sure. And then along the sides, you can barely see it. It says Hakuna Matata. So it's very like subtly Disney, which I like. Down here it says The Lion King on the bottom of Matata. But it's really thin, really light, really soft and comfortable. And I think this would look awesome with just a pair of jeans and be really, really comfy in winter. I do live in Northern California, so it gets a little chilly. Um, so I feel like this is like perfect, not winter, but like fall long sleeve. So there it is. And then, and again, these are wrinkly because they've been in a bag waiting to show you guys for probably like two or three weeks now and they were not folded. So they were just like crunched up. So I apologize for the wrinkliness, but here's another shirt. And all of these that I got are, they're not like crop tops really, but they're, they're like shorter. So um, this one is kind of um, like a thin sweater material and almost like a jersey with the stripes on the um, sleeves. Wow, couldn't think of that word. And then on the front, it says Hogwarts and then it has a picture of Hogwarts Castle. And I am a proud Gryffindor, so this is definitely giving me some Gryffindor vibes. Also one of my favorite colors, this like burgundy. Um, and I also got this in a medium because I just felt like the stuff was gonna shrink. Um, and it was also $14.99. The long sleeve, um, I actually got in a small because I mean, it looks pretty big and it was $19.99. So yay for new Disney and Harry Potter shirts. Then of course I was walking around going through all the aisles because that's what you do at Target. And there was a movie that I've been wanting for quite some time. I've seen it twice in theaters at the El Capitan when it came out. But to be completely honest, I fell asleep both times. There was a lot going on in my life at that time. And um, anyway, long story short, I've never seen this movie all the way through. However, I do really love the storyline, the concept, and I really love some of the characters. So when I saw it, I bought it. It's Inside Out, which is a Disney Pixar movie. And uh, it's where my rainbow unicorn comes from. Um, but here it is. It 
was $19.99. I don't know why Target movies are so expensive. I mean, I know Disney movies are usually that expensive, but, but anyway, it was an impulse buy and I'm always happy to add a new Disney movie to my collection. So there is Inside Out. Then I was walking down the aisle where they have all the like mystery packs. And every time I go to Target, I go and I look at this pack because I really, really, really want Buttercup. But I'm one of those people, I like to know what I'm buying, don't like mystery packs because I don't really want, like Trixie would be cool or Bullseye would be all right, but like I really only want Buttercup. So I was walking, okay, first let me show you the ones that you can get. There's, um, Buzz as Mrs. Nisbet, I think. Um, I've never seen the second Toy Story and I don't like the first one. Huge fan of the third one because I love Lotso. And then I did like the fourth one. Um, and then there's Bo Peep, Jesse, Bullseye, Buttercup. The mystery is the green alien. The mystery is the, uh, has a little baby head on like the spider legs. That's really creepy. Um, Mr. Potato Head, Slinky, and Trixie. So, um, I was walking down the aisle. I picked up a bag of these just to kind of look at it because I always do. And I noticed that the bottom was open. I did not open it. Okay. Promise you, I'm not a jerk like that, but it was open. So I did peek inside. Not, I'm not gonna lie about that. I peeked inside and it was Bullseye. And I was really, really, really tempted to buy it because I do love Bullseye. However, I don't have anything of Bullseye. I don't really collect Bullseye. Like the only characters I collect from Toy Story are Lotso and Buttercup. And I would collect Rex. I just don't have anything of Rex yet besides pins. So, um, so I put it back and I'm like, okay, just see if one of the other ones is open too, because you know, maybe it's Buttercup. Swear the second one, I looked at two of them. They were both open at the bottom. I don't know if there was more open, but those two were both open. The second one was Buttercup. This, you can see, it's white, it's Buttercup. I did not open it but I bought it 100% because the one I wanted is Buttercup. So let's finish opening it. Let's, oh, uh, look at him. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, oh, oh. I got little hearts that are supposed to be his nostrils but his nose doesn't come out so it's just kind of like cheeks. And then his little horn, his little tail, and then he just clips on. So totally gonna put him onto my rainbow unicorn backpack. So don't be mad at me. I feel like a bunch of you are gonna be like, why'd you look? I didn't open it and I feel like if put in that situation, you guys would have looked too. So, I mean, I bought it because I saw what it was and it made me buy it. So a good thing right okay I'm done anyway then as I'm walking out I saw this and I 100% saved the best thing for last I'm obsessed with this look it is a little Pumbaa plush look from the new live-action Lion King and so up here on my Lion King shelf I don't have anything Pumbaa yet. He's like my favorite character. Um, he is on that um, Lion King 2 snow globe, which you will see a close up of very, very soon. Hint, hint, wink, wink again. <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't have anything of Pumbaa. I saw this and it's just so cute. I think they did a phenomenal job with um, casting for him, like Seth. Rogan was a hundred percent the best voice for Pumbaa ever. Um, let me know what you thought about Lion King live action down in the comments down below. I don't want to talk about it too much on here in case people haven't seen it yet. 
But, um, so I saw them, I was gonna buy them, and then I saw this little thing here that says, press here. Okay. Hakuna Matata. <gasps> oh my god! It says Hakuna Matata, right? I was like, whew, you are definitely being bought. So, I buy them, I come home, I go to show Kyle, babe, oh my god, he says Hakuna Matata, watch! Slimy, yet satisfying. What? There's more than just Hakuna Matata? Does he say anything else? Can we keep them? Can we please keep them? Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh I promise, I'll walk him every day. If he makes a little mess, I'll clean it up. Oh. My god. Slimy, yet satisfying. Hakuna Matata. Ugh. Ugh. He talks! Oh my god, that makes me so happy. And it's Seth Rogen's voice. This was $9.99 at Target, so if you are a Pumbaa fan, go look for him, because look at how cute he is. Ugh, he's 100% my favorite item. Let me know what yours was. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like Disney and Harry Potter and unicorns <laughs> um, and lots of fun stuff. Um, don't forget to like and comment down below. I really do love connecting with you guys. I apologize, however, if you can hear my air conditioning, it's hot. Um, and if you are returning, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you and a big thank you again to all of my new subscribers. I hope you all have the most magical day. Bye.